Hi everyone, this is Eileen from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you the four steps on how you solve a quadratic inequality. I have reviewed so many exam papers and I realized that it is such a basic concept, but yet many students lack the strategy on how to solve it. At the end of this video, you will learn how to solve it in a very systematic way without you having to memorize anything. And on top of that, you could also check to know whether your answer is absolutely correct. Let us begin. Now, in front of you, you take a look at this question here, whereby they ask us to find the range of values of M. The keyword here, range, signify that the answer will have, a, will, will have inequality involved. And look at this inequality that is given to you. It is a quadratic inequality. So the very first step that we want to do is to expand. So this is what we have, first term. Second term, third term, and the last term. And what we want to do is move the constant three from the right to the left. And that is the very first step of solving quadratic inequality. We keep our right-hand side to be zero. All right, and you might want to ask, why would we want to do that? So that we can factorize. So now we're gonna go ahead and factorize. Before we can do that, what you want to do is you want to arrange the terms in order, starting off with the uh, M square. Followed by N term and then a constant. So to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to do it by the cross method. And then we have four, we have two over here. So put a negative here, put a negative. Let's do a check. This is negative m square. This is negative eight. 4m, 2m, add up together, hooray. Everything falls in place nicely. So negative m plus 4, first factor, second factor, m minus 2, less than equals to 0. So you can see that I've done the second step. Now, why do we have to go through that? Because we want to find out the roots. What are roots? Roots are basically your x-intercepts. Okay, It's where the graph actually cuts the y-axis. Now, you might wonder, why would you want to find the roots? Because the answer actually comes from our diagram where we're going to shade. So it's important that we label our roots in the diagram that will allow us to actually shape the diagram and actually write down the answer. So I'm going to draw a simple diagram. In fact, the roots for this um, quadratic um, graph over here, one is two, the other root is four. So I know that the root, let me just write it here, root um, one is two. Basically you set each factor to be equal to zero. And then you will be able to get the two roots. The other one is four. So the next very important thing, since we're going to sketch a quadratic graph, the very first question you should be asking yourself is, will it be a happy face or a sad face? Happy means U shape, sad means N shape. So what do we look at? We look at the coefficient, which is the number in front of your m squared. So you can see that this is negative. Negative means sad. So let's go ahead and draw a sad face. So once we have actually drawn a sad face, we can put down the two roots, two, four, and we are almost done. So now the important thing is we got to shape. Now, which part do we shape? Look at the inequality sign. Less than equals to zero. 
right? So this portion, the portion of the graph which is below our horizontal axis, this is less than zero. That means the part that is above is more than zero. So I'll be shading this part here. Inclusive of the value of two because of the equal sign here. And then the other part, I'll be shading this part here. Inclusive of four. Now you notice something. When I shade the first part, I have to actually lift my pen up to shade the second part. So it tells me that there will be two separate answer. And how do we write the answer? Really simple. So M, you can write down M, you write down the roots two. The value of M has to be less, lesser than equals to two, or this part here, M, and the root is four. So look at where my shading is, is more than as well as equal. So this is how we get the answer on this quadratic inequality. I hope you actually find it useful. And it's a very simple strategy. I have been using these four steps for every single quadratic inequality that I need to solve. And um, leave me some comments if you actually love the method that I'm sharing. Thank you.